there, Mr. Bossman. I'm Sergeant Bossman. Ain't it all? Comfortable caller! Hello, 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 Mr. Bossman. Everything all right? No, everything's not all right. I'm just doing pause by for your patrol. Yep. Busy all night, if I do say so myself. You shot six people! Aye, but they're all breaking the law, Sergeant Bossman. They're shoplifting. Still breaking the law, if you ask me. Well, you can't shoot people for shoplifting. We've got law and order rules. Well, it seems to me that if more shoplifters were shot for their pathetic crimes, the world would be a lot better place. No, no, that's not right, right. That's not right. And that kind of yours is against regulations. Against regulations? Well, you ask me, that far head of yours is against regulations. Right, I'm going to make a report about this, Mr. Cornliffe. Rank man. I'm sorry, Constable Cornliffe. Uh, uh, uh. Police Chief Cornliffe. Yep. Seems like the police chop brass, like my methods. Right, bossman? I'm just going off to shoot some jaywalkers. Can't say I'm too happy about this new duty you've given me, bossman. Don't have to be happy about it. Just have to do it. Colonel. You said I was going to be on TV. You are. You know on the 10 o'clock news where you see Downing Street there's that PC plod on duty? Yeah. Well, the old government made him redundant, so that... From now on, that's you. Well, at least I'll have my pipe. Start the old camera. You see that bold man coming round to present the news on that Hugh Edward put out of sight. Uh, your duty is to make sure no one desires going 10 Downing Street. Well, I want hourly reports on your walkie talkie and you get relieved at 11 each night. Well, that's not so bad. What time is it? Uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, what do you, what would you say my duty was to stop any undesirables getting in? Yeah. Right, David Cameron. No, I mean, you know Nick what I mean. Clegg. David Laws. No, oh, you can cross him off the list. Right. Right, uh, yeah, just keep all undesirables and if that baldy, every more come look like comes, just don't make eye contact. Stupid, pointless job. Can't even smoke my pipe. The Prime Minister today was um, certain that US and UK relations will not be harmed by Barack Obama's arrest for murder. Today, uh, currently under administration, US government will continue to form an... Where did he go? Mr. O'Connor! All right, Sergeant Bossman. No, no. Why? What's the matter? Your hemorrhoids giving you problems again. When were you on duty? From 6 a.m. in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. No, as you, you were. Suggested. No, you were. I was watching the news and you deserted your post. And in the meantime, the Prime Minister's wife got kidnapped. Ah, well, no loss really. One much of a looker, if you ask me. You're fired. I think you're fine. If anyone's fired, you are, Mr. Bossman. Oh. Turns out that my fourth cousin, twice removed, is the chief of the Metropolitan Police. I'm in here right now. Oh. <laughs> Got your ladder, Ted. Ow! What are you doing in that bush? I got the bush, but never mind. I got your ladder anyway. Oh good, pop it against the wall, mother, to get started today. We got that hammer. Forgot the nails. Oh. 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 Oh.
Mr. Conquest. Where did you get the ladder from, anyway? It was under a bob hole in his back. Oh, come on! This looks big, Crabtree. You better go and get the Chief Constable. Yes, sir. And she's going, can I go too? I need to go for a walk, if you get my meaning. Oh, don't worry. You're not going anywhere for a very long time. Oh, good! Then you can hear the full, unabridged version of Gordy Birch's Sandwich Run with added hilarious sound effects. No! Look, sir! I guess nobody wants to hear the tale of Gordy Birch's Sandwich Run. Would you like to hear the tale of Gordy Birch's Sandwich Run? £2,000 fine for Mr... Oh! And Mr. A. Woe. Two grand for leaving a light on? What the hell? We're going to clear this regard of blackout regulations. Blackout regulations? Blackout? The blackout regulations that were implemented by the mayor when we went to war. Don't you read the papers? And I thought I was dumb. Well, I know nothing about that. You know you were watching TV as we told you that. I don't have a TV. But you just said you were... I ain't gonna turn that light off or not. No, no. Right, Ed, get a policeman. I'll be a month in the cells for you. If we have any cells left, just then. Now we'll get some just. Right, come with me. Oh, oh wait wait a You ruined my land, get off, you hogs! We're going... My dad now owns this land, and he's going to tear your stupid farm to the ground. Come on, Henri, let's ride! <laughs> so, who found the body trolley? Local pastor. Good morning, Vicar. 
Indeed, it's not a good morning, Mr. Barnaby, for I have sinned. Hmm. Skewered by a Nobel Peace Prize. How ironic. Well, nothing more we can do, Troy. Back to the station for some more cream cakes, please. But, sir, I need to tell you... Oh, get out of the way, Victor. Oh, the boy was bludgeoned to death by a Nobel Peace Prize. Hmm, interesting. Why, is sir? Midsummer Worthing, playing Badger's Drift, Shepherd's Lodge today. Well, all we have to do is find the only person in town who owns the Nobel Peace Prize. Of you, so brain, Troy. The prize could easily have been stolen. Why do we get forensic on, forensics on it? I was saying, this is a village constabulary. We can't afford fancy lads and such like. And anyway, forensics would be useless. After all, I com repeatedly took hold of the victims and the Nobel Prize Prize whilst looking at it before. Did the boy have any enemies? Well, he did disgrace the local farm, but I think we could rule that out. And... Perfect. Bring him in. And whilst you're doing that, I'll attend to the more important matter of getting some more cream cakes. I can't tell you how now to do with that murder! I wasn't even there on the evening! That turnip provider Bert Jones could rectify the story! I doubt that. Bert Jones was found dead this morning. No! Who killed him? I did, actually. I ran him over when I went to get some more cream cakes. Your alibi is nothing. To jail, Cyril Crabtree. Hmm. Now I'm in need for some more cream cakes. Mr. Barnaby, I confess! Oh, get out of the way, big guy. I haven't time for this. I've got to make a date with the cream cake shop. Ah, nice box of cream cakes. Two pound fifty and deep. Ah! Troy! Troy! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I must have fallen asleep reading next season's script. I've been kidnapped. I've only just escaped. We'd better check on the prisoner. Look, please. Do it my tie while we're on with it. Okay. Dan! Oh, God. I must have fallen asleep reading the script. Hmm. Looks like... Farmer has made like my driving license and expired. Criminal, sir. A note. This was the only way I could get him to listen to me. I killed Luke Ghetto. Signed. There's too much blood on the paper, Troy. Well, it seems obvious to me that the killer was the farmer. He obviously killed the. Rapscallion in a sort of hatred war after he took over his farm and took over his farm and couldn't live with the guilt, so wrote this note and topped himself. Hmm, well put, Barnaby. I think I deserve another cream cake. Oh, you got my note? You wrote this note? Oh, grow up, Troy. As I said, the farm wrote it just before he committed suicide. I killed him! What was that, Troy? I killed the boy leader and I love this turf and the low life farmer. The relationship's getting stale, Rev. I'm off. Oh, I bet he's a girlfriend of yours. I'll kill you, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> oh, no! I had to get rid of the body, so I tried to frame the farmer. My guilty conscience told me to confess, but you wouldn't listen. To top it all off. You kidnapped the eye Barnaby as well. No, I didn't do that. Oh, that was just some punk kids who I told to move along a few weeks ago. Well, it was quite simple, really. He was the only one in this area to own a Nobel Peace Prize. Really? Yes. I'm glad I cracked the case eventually. I think for that I deserve another cream cake. No, 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 you'll explode! Don't worry, the pursuit after that way, I'll put some arsenic in their tea. Poison? Did you hear that, Ed? No, and you're wearing my hat.